I have also another clip from uh, the Decoding the Gurus podcast, which did a really in-depth uh, in, uh, uh, investigation into Malone and McCulloch, the two um, COVID gurus that Joe Rogan has on. And I, I think it's really it's really useful to go in and uh, familiarize yourself with just how fucking crazy these people are. But there's a section from Decoding the Gurus, if you have this, uh, Bradley, um, where they where uh, it, just to get a sense of w the type of claims that Malone says on Joe Rogan, uh, and it's it, and they like to hide behind oh it's just this minor stuff about maybe ivermectin might have some minor effect antiviral effect no they're f he's a full on uh, like pandemic quack for people to hear so here you go and we've had a giant loss of life a giant number millions and millions of unnecessary hospitalizations uh, and it seemed to me and i said i've told tucker carlson and many others it seems to me early on there was an, an intentional very comprehensive suppression of early treatment in order to promote fear suffering isolation hospitalization and death and it seemed to be completely organized and intentional in order to create acceptance for and then promote mass vaccination so you believe this is a premeditated thing that they were doing so they realized that in order to in get people enthusiastic about taking this vaccine the best way to do that was to not have a protocol for treatment it's not just my idea now it's completely laid out by the book by dr pam popper the book recently published by peter bregan uh covid19 and the global predators we are the prey we are the prey yes so, so yeah okay uh, you can go into um the the boys that decode and the gurus go into these uh, uh in depth so i would recommend that but uh, that's the level of the claims that and if joe rogan wants to get on and and uh, say, well, looky here, it was all a pandemic. Uh, he should do that. And let's see what Spotify, how they start sweating then.